Hello guys, I haven't recorded much in the last couple of weeks because there was so much work at Contentize. Uh, generally, we're trying to fundraise right now. We're building the new iteration of Contentize as well. So uh, there's just a, just, just a lot of things happening. And what I wanted to show you right now is that with all the things that are on the ML market right now that you can find different solutions, we released our own version, our own take on uh, GPT-3 uh, based on different other models uh, that are out there. Uh, and it's released absolutely free. There's no registration needed. Uh, we're just looking for your feedback and to use it. So you can go directly to gpt.contentize.com and you will see this screen where you can just start writing and generating content. It works really simply, usually it's super fast as well. So for example, I have written here already how to use artificial intelligence in your company. If I click on generate, uh, then uh, I'm going to see something, uh, a text. Uh, I can keep on generating just by pressing generate, uh, or I can delete that, go back, and start generating again. Uh, so this kind of functionality will be implemented in the newest version of Contentize as well. We want to create this great editor that you can use online in a very simple way. Uh, of course, this is not the design that you will see in our Contentize 2.0. The point here is that uh, we're happy to share with you the models we have so that you can test it and let us know whether that works or not. Uh, so yeah, check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, the model itself is definitely a little bit less powerful than GPT-3, but it's still pretty much uh, powerful, definitely much better than the largest version of GPT-2. Uh, so I would say something in between of GPT-2 and GPT-3 when it comes to number of parameters, when it comes to the data set it was trained on and so on. Uh, and we definitely want to make it better, faster with time. Uh, and also work better in specific niches uh, that content ties is most used. Uh, so yeah, definitely uh, there's a lot of work coming along the way. So let me know what you think about it and test it out yourself. Thank you for watching.